The weekly developer update blog post is now out for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We are going to read it, review it, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on what they have to say this week. So if you want to keep up to date with everything Suicide Squad, they do have a Suicide Squad Discord. Link for that is in the description. This is taken from the Suicide Squad Twitter page, or you could just follow the channel because I will be keeping everybody up to date on everything that is Suicide Squad as I find out about it. Either way, let's jump in. Hello, people of Metropolis. We'll keep the update nice and short this week as, as we at Rocksteady are hard at work making sure the game is in its best shape it can be for when season one launches later this month. Now, we did already know from last week's developer update that this week they were only going to be working on season one content. No bug fixes, no patches, no anything like that. So uh, state of the game currently with the release date of season one announced, we are focused on ensuring that both season one update is ready and that all upcoming fixes are thoroughly tested. We are also continuing to work on other remaining issues and we'll let you know when we are able to implement further fixes. Now, this is interestingly phrased to me when they say all that upcoming fixes are thoroughly tested. So maybe they do have at least most of these fixes and patches ready to go. And so they had to jump in season one content this week and test all of those patches and bugs fixes with problems in the game now to make sure they'll work with season one content when it releases. I don't know. Like I've always said, you know, we don't know exactly what's going on over there at Rocksteady. All that we can obviously do is just speculate unless they tell us specifically why, when, how, and all of that stuff. But either way, moving on, for those still experiencing issues with the game, we hear your frustration and thank you for your patience while we work on a fix. Now get ready for season one. This week we made the very exciting announcement of season one's release date, March 28th which is 20 days away from now. So uh, just one day short of three weeks. So it's gonna be you know, on a Thursday when it releases, not sure the exact time or when they release actual updates, if it's you know the same time the game launches or if it's gonna be in the morning on that Thursday or if it's just everywhere at a specific time. I don't really know yet. We can't wait for all y'all to play Suicide Squad's first seasonal update with the Joker as a new playable character. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm excited to have Joker. I'm excited to have another character to play as, as we've been playing and I have been playing uh, the four characters we have a lot and they are, you know, getting a little bit old playing as all of those characters over and over again. Uh, I will have to say, though, adding a new character brings, again, a whole nother problem to the inventory management mess that we have right now. Uh, Joker's going to have eight new slots and we have to save, you know, extra gear for Joker. And so what are they going to do about all of the extra gear that we have to have now for him at the same time? And will we be able to pick which four characters we run with like will we be able to sub out joker whenever we want or can we only play as joker and joker is not an ai character haven't gotten any specifics on that yet but well i guess we'll have to see a uh, also a new elseworld to explore an arsenal of new weapons and gear new missions and more all free for those who own the game. But before we get into anything further into the update, here's a little bit of sneak preview of an explosive new grenade you'll be able to unleash in season one. Based on a character we've spotted several of you talking about lately. And I think interesting with this is, is that they capitalized the word spotted. Now, um, I mean, first thing I think of when I see that is Polka Dot Man. Like when we talk about, you know, characters that could be coming to the game, you know, stuff like that. Maybe it's like a Polka Dot Man style gear in which 
I don't know. I really don't know, but it's kind of interesting that they capitalize the word spotted. So let's check out this preview and it doesn't have any sound. So I don't know if it's my system or the just the video it just has no sound. But either way, uh, let's look at Harley Quinn first. And you see she just shot her handgun and it blew up a bunch of polka dots. That time she threw a grenade and then a bunch of polka dots popped up. But pausing it in the middle of it, as you see, taking a look at this pistol that Harley Quinn is holding, um, I initially, when I first read it, thought it was just gonna be a grenade, but it appears that it's probably gonna be a whole set of gear, either a two-piece or more pistol and a hand grenade itself or other weapons, assault rifles, um, heavy weapons, et cetera, shotguns, snipers, et cetera. But here she is using her pistol. She hits the enemy, the enemy explodes. And then once the enemy explodes, it breaks apart into five separate explosions, kind of like a cluster grenade. So I don't know. I mean, it almost makes it look like it's a pistol, but then how it explodes, how it explodes into a cluster grenade, Kind of makes me think that, I don't know, maybe it's a bullet propelled grenade because we do kind of have one of those already. But either way, you see all the polka dots down there that is littering the screen and it's kind of a neat little effect or whatever. So that's kind of cool. And moving on to uh, as she throws her grenade. But another thing, like all of these presents that are around um, in this particular incursion and so what is this world's unfair and you know where you have to uh kill all the enemies around the crystal blow up the crystal and then kill the big one but there's all these presents around so i don't know i'm sure it has to do with joker in season one etc but then she throws her grenade and then once she throws her grenade, you see that it explodes and then she has a bunch of little polka dots everywhere, which kind of makes me think that not only the pistol, but the grenade polka dot man gear. We're so excited to share more of the upcoming content with you soon in the run up to release of season one. So there should be previews dropping probably next week to showcase some of the items that are in the game some of the new weapons, even Joker gameplay probably. Just, again, speculation, I don't know, but that's just what I'm gonna assume. Known issues, while we continue to investigate some of the more frustrating issues players may be experiencing, we are also logging additional issues that you might encounter from time to time. Some of these may have simple workarounds that you can use to get your back on mission and help you battle Brainiac's forces. If you've bumped into a bug that's stopping you in your tracks, we may have a solution listed for known issues. And so this is on the Discord page. So like I said, go in the description, follow the Discord or go to their Twitter, click the link. You'll be able to find it. We aim to update you this or update this regularly. So check back from time to time for future updates. We have workarounds for issues like gear slots becoming locked negative squad talent points, black screen when loading in, and more. It's nice that they have those sort of things because uh, I've heard people in the comments talk about gear slots being locked, uh, squad talent points, etc., and black screens. I mean, I've heard all these issues in comments and stuff. So I would certainly recommend those people to go see if these workarounds work. I don't have any of these particular issues. But um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Y'all have to let me know in the comments. We hope these will help some of you affected while we work on a permanent fix. Digital Deluxe Edition limited time discount. If you've been interested in trying Suicide Squad or maybe have a friend you'd love to play with. Interesting that they say a friend you'd love to play with because I know a lot of people are still experiencing matchmaking issues. Uh, that certainly needs to get fixed if they want to sell the, um, you know, just the, one of their selling points is playing with a friend. You have to be able to match make in order to play with friends, right? But either way, moving on. Uh, well, now is the perfect time to jump in. The Digital Deluxe Edition of the game is currently on sale and with free season one update coming soon, you'll have a whole lot of new content ready to explore. As a final note, we'll be holding off rolling out our focused feedback as detailed in last week's update until season one. That's kind of a bummer. Um, 
I was kind of hoping to post some stuff in there. But either way, I'm sure they probably think that it might be a whole lot of negative stuff. And so they might wait until the patch and the bugs uh, get resolved a lot more before they open up focus feedback. Well, we can't wait to share more of season one in the run up to its release. See you in Elseworld rock steady. So what do y'all think? Polka dot man set gear, coming weapons, uh, grenades, maybe some mods. I really don't know, but it kind of is what it looks like. Uh, they didn't really say much else. Hopefully next week we get a patch and that the patch is ready and it really helps people with login problems or with matchmaking problems. Um, I'm actually have been experiencing login problems today earlier when I was trying to uh, work on a video, a different video that I'm trying to do. Um, it took me about 45 minutes. I probably did it. 15 times and it kept kicking me out said servers weren't able to be reached so i don't know i did finally get in though after countless numbers of times and resetting it but either way hopefully that patch drops next week and helps more people be able to get into the game uh if you're interested in checking out a stream be sure you follow the twitch channel or youtube because we stream on both platforms and hopefully, you know, all of this goes smoothly and we get some leaks and not leaks, but, um, you know, previews of the future season one content. I will see you all next time, guys. Y'all take it easy. We are out. Peace.